Hey everybody and welcome to the character creation series. In this segment we'll be discussing rigging. When rigging you are essentially setting the character up for animation. The rig itself is what controls the character. A rig is made up of little things called armatures which you can see I'm adding in right now. To add in an armature press shift A and select armature from the list. You can select the end of an armature and press the E button to extrude a new segment. It's important to position each new segment at a joint because that's where the armature will bend. You can duplicate bones by pressing Shift D. Next I'm going to mirror the bones by selecting all of them, duplicating them, then I press S, X, negative 1 to perfectly flip them along the X axis. Right here I do the same thing for the legs. So this right here is a basic rig. Right now I'm just going to name each bone which is important later when we assign our vertex groups. It's important to name the bones something memorable so you can recognize them later. For example, right here I'm naming each segment of the spine, spine 1, 2, and 3 because there are three segments of the spine. I usually use a naming convention such as dot .r or dot .l depending on the left or right side of the model. To attach the rig to the model, you're going to want to add an armature modifier under the modifiers panel. Once you add the armature modifier, select the armature from the drop down list. After that, uncheck bone envelopes. Right here, I'm just simply parenting the fingers to the hand bone. This way, when you move the hand, the fingers will move along with it. As you can see right here, I parented the shoulders to the spine, so when you move the spine around, the shoulders move along with it. You can use vertex groups to assign a bone a certain group of polys to move around. You do this by clicking the plus sign, typing in the name of the bone, and then selecting the polys and clicking the assign button. Those polys will now move when you move that bone. You can switch from object mode to weight paint mode to more precisely paint where a bone has influence over the mesh. Red pin means the bone has more control of that area, while a lighter blue or yellow means it has less control. On the left, you can choose to add or subtract weight paint. Right click a bone, then start adding paint to the model where you want the bone to influence the mesh. This will also automatically create a vertex group. Weight painting is the best way to fine tune the influence a bone has over the mesh. Another cool thing about weight painting is that you can move the bone in real time to see how it actually moves. This allows you to quickly adjust the weight paint for a better deformation of the mesh. Alright, that's about it for this section. In the next video, we'll discuss the basics of animation.